Meta released an open source large language model called Llama 2, which has received widespread attention owing to significant improvements in the model as well as usage for free for research and also for commercial purposes. And previously, I created a tutorial video showing you how to use the Llama 2 model in Python, as well as a tutorial video on the Streamlit YouTube channel showing how you could incorporate the Llama 2 model in the development of a chatbot web application using Streamlit in Python. And the source code are provided here in this particular GitHub repo. And one of the subscriber have asked, is it possible to use the Llama 2 model locally? And so in this video, I'm going to show you how. And we're going to use the Llama 2 GGML format here, which is essentially a binary version that you could download and use locally on any operating system, whether it be Windows, Linux, or on a Mac. But then for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how inside a Colab notebook, which will work for you not only on Colab, but also locally on your own computer, whether it be Windows, Linux, or Mac. You just need to download this notebook into your computer, and then you could run it. And so without further ado, let's dive in. So as already mentioned in the introduction, you're going to use Llama 2 on your own computer. And this is made possible by the GGML file format, which will be obtained from this particular repo on the Hugging Face platform from the user the bloke. And then the GGML files will be used by the Llama CPP project, which is developed by G. Gurganov. And this particular tool will allow us to perform CPU and GPU inference locally. And therefore, the prerequisite that we're going to need will be to install the Python ports of the Llama CPP tool. And also should be noted that the Llama CPP project, the link is provided here. And this is a command line tool that you could also use to run locally. And so let's proceed with installing this library. The following is from a prior run. And so you see here that it is connecting in this particular instance. And then this should be updated. Wait for it. So as mentioned, you could just copy this and then run it locally on your own computer, but without the exclamation mark here. This is for use in a colon notebook. All right, and it has successfully installed the library. Now let's proceed to download the Llama 2 model locally, which is from this particular repository on Hugging Face. And we're going to use the smallest model, partly because if we're using a larger model, right here, it will take longer to compute. And this is to be mentioned that the model that we're using here is based on 7 billion parameters. And the ones available are 7 billion, 13 billion, and also 70 billion parameters, all three of which are hosted on Replicate. And a prior video that I've mentioned right here has already shown you how you could use Replicate where the Llama 2 model was hosted on the cloud. Now we're going to download this into our local computer. You could actually click here if you'd like to do it graphically so that it will be downloaded. Otherwise, you could also do it programmatically in the command line by typing in wget and then the URL here. If you're on a Mac, you could also use curl to download it. All right, and so let's click on it. And then if you click on the sidebar here, it will expand so that you see the model that is being downloaded, which is this file. And so it's almost finished going to be a little bit over two gigabytes and it's at 2.67 gigabytes in size and yeah downloading on Colab was fairly quick. So it is right here. Now we're going to load in the Llama 2 model. So we're going to firstly import the Llama function from the Llama CPP Python library. We're going to create a variable called LLM and then we're going to assign it the Llama function and then as input we're going to provide the path to the binary version of the model, which is the one that we had just downloaded. And then for the sake of simplicity, we're going to define the parameters as shown here. And notice that we use a smaller value for the parameters. But you are more than welcome to play around with this value here. And do note that if you increase the value, it will take longer to compute. So we have already run this line. And let's proceed to running the response generation. However, before we do that, let's create a timer so that we know how long the actual LM response generation takes. 
So here we're going to use the time it and also the time libraries in order to time or starting time and the end time and then subtracting that in order to get the duration of the calculation. And in order to simulate the calculation, we're going to use the time.sleep function here and we're going to sleep it for 10 seconds. And the value should be roughly 10 seconds if we calculate it here. And there you go. It's roughly 10 seconds, 10.01 seconds. And now we're going to perform the LM response generation and we're going to ask it what is Python. Let's click on run. So the prompt that we provided is defined in this prompt variable, what is Python. And then we're creating a output variable. And then as we're assigning the LM that we had just defined earlier, we're taking in the prompt as the input parameter and also using the following parameters here. Max tokens, echo to be false, temperature 0.1 top P to be 0.9. And so this should take us roughly five minutes or six minutes for the response generation. And so you're going to see that running response generation of the LM model is a high computational task. In the prior tutorial video, the one that we used was on the Replicate platform and we're using it through the API call. And it took only a few seconds because it is using a powerful computer based on the NVIDIA A100. But for this, we're using free computational resource from Google on the Colab notebook. It takes only 77 seconds, so not that bad because I remember that when I first run, I used the parameters right here, the context here to be in the range of 1000 to 2000, but I reduced it tenfold. So, and now it's at 128. So yeah, the generated output will be much shorter and therefore it takes less time. And for this one, it's 77 seconds. Let's have a look at the output that is being generated. So this is the output and we're going to selectively print out the generated text from the dictionary here. And so here it is. It's fairly short. You're going to see that the output is fairly short. So if you adjust the parameter here and context length here, or also the end batch, let, let's see how it goes. If you're increasing the values, you should get a longer response. But as mentioned already, it will take longer to calculate. And we're going to write it to file. Oh, okay, I think I've changed the code. I think it's called, okay, I don't see the duration defined. Okay, so I'm going to define it here. Duration will be equal to stop start. All right, and we created this text file. Let me double click on it and it is written out here. Oh, okay, I need to close it. I think it should be closed. Let's see it again. Let's just type in here. Cat response txt. All right, so that's the generated output file. And so for simplicity, I'm providing the entirety of the code as a single block here and you could use it for generation. So you're gonna see here that, yeah, the parameter was actually 512 here that I've defined and also in batch of 128. And you'll see that the generated output was significantly longer and it provided a lot of great bullet points here on the key features of Python. Looks pretty good. And so as you can see, it's very simple for you to follow along and download, install this Llama CPP Python library in order to use the Llama 2 model locally on any computer, whether it be Linux, Mac, or Windows. Let me know in the comment section down below what you plan to build with this. And if you have any great ideas for future tutorial, drop them in the comment section. And don't forget to like, turn on notification, and also subscribe to the channel. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey.